Hello, my name is Barry. I'd like to welcome you to Christianity Explained. One of the content that I do on this video is more of a service to the larger Christian content creator community. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you're a blogger, YouTuber, or a podcaster. Let's face it, when, when you have to do this by yourself, it's a tough road. I know, because I've been doing this for <laughs> pretty much the 21st century. <laughs> and I can understand the need to sign up for a class or a school that offers to teach. And that's exactly what I want to talk with you about. And these gentlemen are, are going to help me with this. What am I talking about? And who are these two? Stay tuned. Find out. There's some uh, tips and some warning I need to give. The first tip, and we're starting right out the gate with it, is this. Know something of who is sponsoring or is going to run this uh, academy for creators. In their case, it is the Breaker Creator Academy. It was started by Pastor Mike Signorelli of V1 Church. You might know him better as one of the uh, fabulous four, Demon Slayer. Yeah, he's buddy with Isaiah Saldivar, uh, Alexander Johnny, and Vlad Salchuk. I'm sure he's a very capable uh, pastor or whatever. Now, my job in this video is not to attack, but rather give some sound advice for creators who need some wisdom uh, before diving in. <laughs> and wait, hey Mike, if you're reviewing this, uh, this will be some useful tip for you, bro. <laughs> Here's why I say that. Tip number two, <laughs> make sure that the person you're signing up to learn from has a track record that you can follow and you can point to and say, oh, this guy has some content that shows me what he or she knows. This person has been doing this for quite a while. It's not... Uh, gee, we just started this bright idea. Please, give it time. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and I do want to extend grace uh, to Mike and his uh, friend Evan. That was the other gentleman. And I want to encourage you, uh, especially if you are involved with the uh, Demon Slayers, please pray for them because they are going to need a lot of wisdom. They're going to need a lot of guidance and help. <laughs> They're like uh, children who think, oh, because I've done these videos and done all this, I could teach others. Mm, not so fast, son. There's a lot more to this game than doing that. <laughs> so that's why I would encourage the fandom of that uh, community to pray and then give them encouragement on how to improve their skills. That's, I would definitely uh, say. <laughs> and no, I'm not a, a really a big fan, but I do believe in being charitable and that according to the YouTube channel that they have for the Breaker Creator Academy, they have, I think, one or two short videos, but nothing that tells me I can trust them to know what they're talking about. Hmm. Here's tip number three, and I'm going to be building on the question of what you're asking. Are you seeing this stuff right here? The part? Hopefully, uh, screen magnifier. These are the proposed uh, things that they will offer to teach you. These are not the tip, your typical Bible study uh, topic. 
Rather, these are things I've learned by reading some very important books. And I appreciate the idea of, of teaching, uh, court teaching. Now, because of what these, each of these topics that I've run into in the past requires some people who actually do know about this content, it immediately had brings to mind the importance of knowing that the person teaching me actually knows what this is about <laughs> and why I should care about so-called viral psychology. Actually, it's more like the psychology of making a good video. What it draws them in, why you do certain things, why do they put on the ridiculous clickbait titles and stuff like that. You have to have an understanding of the why YouTubers and bloggers have to do that, even podcasters. And, and, and because these guys are new, I, and I'm not seeing it, I didn't see any proof content that says these guys can talk competently. This is the next tip. <laughs> and it kind of responds to the comment I'm likely to get. Have I ever watched these guys' actual content? Yes. I haven't watched Mike Signorelli, but I'm familiar with Alexander Pajani and Vlad Salchuk. So, sorry, sorry, Vlad. And Isaiah Saldivar. And I understand they tried to do some good Bible teaching, the best of their ability, and even some topical stuff. However, there's just one problem. It doesn't mean that they are the best choice to talk to me about the behind the scene mechanic of good video. Sure, they have some experiences. So, so have I. But that doesn't mean I'm well suited to teach a class. But at the same time, full disclosure, I'm a graduate of Video Ranking Academy, which was started by Sean Cannell, who, I should say Sean Cannell, who has been doing this since for like a decade or more. He had packed an entire resume of credentials that says he doesn't just know how to do good videos, he knows how to teach a concept as that goes into designing good videos. He has a track record that tells me, okay, I can trust you to know what you're talking about. That does not mean, and by the way, Sean Cannell is a, a, a born again brother in Christ. He is passionate about Jesus. Uh, he was signed as, I wouldn't say a teaching pastor. He was not, according to him, he's not the guy people go to marriage advice, but they will for advice on cameras and, and technical. <laughs> The same principle apply to uh, Mike and crew. Just because someone is good in one area, that doesn't mean they're a good choice on others. That's why I said it's a good idea to have some proof and concept with video that says, okay, you do understand the problem with the algorithm and how to get it to work. You do understand the frustration I go to in creating a video and why. <laughs> Gee, and yes, you can tie in some biblical uh, concept. As in, think, think of others more highly than yourself and tie that very much into algorithm uh, for uh, YouTube and the blogosphere. It's not about me. It's about serving others. <laughs> what is going to benefit others? That's how YouTube designed everything. 
we're creating videos for other people to benefit, not our own. <laughs> Ooh. Gee. Shocking, isn't it? But see, that's the part I learned by listening to to professional people who really know the stuff. And that would be one of my real serious concerns. I would hope that Mike and them would create content for that channel that they have and that shows that say, hey, look, we actually do know what we're talking about when it comes to the behind the scenes. I would encourage you guys to do that. Here's tip number five. <laughs> The problem is YouTube celebrity status. Yes, it's great that Mike's church is getting behind this idea of starting a creator academy. That's nice. That's wonderful. But I highly doubt that Mr. Celebrity is going to be doing a whole lot of teaching because... He got all these other things he had to do. <laughs> I don't think so, Mike. And I'm sure you'll give it a, a, a card try, but I would advise against uh, that. And unfortunately, uh, my concern is more of young people or young Christians who are like, oh, wow, I'm going to... I'm sure the more mature fans know, but... Just for those who don't realize it, guess what? Mike is probably not going to be the main speaker and teacher. He's probably going to have to have others step in and do those videos who know what they're doing. <laughs> and that's going to be important that you realize, yeah, he's going to have to have other people. It sounds like common sense, but... You be shocked. <laughs> the same principle applies with uh, David Hernandez, who has his own uh, uh, teaching school. <laughs> they sound great, but just be aware, just because someone who's a YouTube celebrity is starting a, an online school, it doesn't mean that that celebrity is going to do the teaching. <laughs> he's probably, if he's smart, well, she, if they're smart, they'll have capable, competent individual uh, help doing the teaching. And yes, hopefully they will be able to spend some time, but I wouldn't hold my breath. But I would encourage you, uh, Mike, at least in the onset, to have certain people who are going to be the key face uh, that people can say, oh, I can trust this person and not worry about the celebrity pastor. That's one of the downsides, and I do feel a warning uh, given. Here's tip number six, and you definitely need to watch. What am I talking about? Beware of, of unscrupulous personalities who use their imp influences to get you to buy expensive equipment. Oh, you got to have this fancy stuff in order to make spectacular videos. Oh, do away with that laptop there that has an i3 processor. It can't make good quality video. Bull. Bull. Don't fall for it, okay? I don't care who they are, but if they're telling you to run out and and spend mega buck, especially on their channel, just to get that oh so neat expensive gear, they're full of it. All right, that it is not right at all. You want to know the truth? And no, I don't. I would hope, hey Mike, if you're watching, please, you're gonna want to do this uh, and give videos uh, for the average Christian, not. The YouTube celebrity. I'm giving you a hard time for a reason. <laughs> you got the money. The average Christian does not. All you need to start with is an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy phone. That's all you need. 
this little puppy can make good quality videos through either recording or streaming. That's all you need to start with. Is that you already have it and you already have the power. You don't, and this is where you should start. As for computers, do you know what kind of computer I had when I started my uh, video journey? Yeah, it was a laptop that was an i3 Intel Core processor. I think I had about six gigabytes of RAM. Okay, it's not the best uh, video editing machine ever. No. I ain't, I'm not going to tell you it is. It's not. However, it did the job that I needed at the beginning. I just had to make my video simple. What kind of video did I do? You're watching it. It's, they call it video blogging. <laughs> Short, simple, and easy. And anybody can do. It doesn't cost as much money as buying all these other uh, equipment like Roadcaster Pros. But, but, but what about the mic I use? A $60 mic. Yeah. Who would have thought? I originally, I forgot what I paid for a cheaper uh, Logitech uh, webcam, C920. But a friend blessed me with a gift of a Logitech Brio. I paid about $20 for the ring, a simple ring light, $60 for the softbox light that provided. But I didn't start out with that. No, I didn't have any all this fancy stuff. I started by what I had. And that's really where you can. You don't need fancy stuff. Don't be fooled by uh, the stuff you see other people do. Uh, <laughs> Mike and his crew, they have the money. They have the budget to do spectacular videos. And they have a team of people. Most likely, you, my friend, are just one person doing the video. You're the only one. So don't let somebody railroad you into paying big bucks for something you probably don't need to start with. Some of the stuff which are a good idea and sound great at a future time if you actually need it. Hmm. Because of what I do, I'm probably not going to need something called a roadcaster that handles multiple uh, types of devices and make quick shortcuts and that. I don't have the space for it. But guess what? That's because I'm just doing this kind of video. I know some people will do other types. Keep it simple and c make it easy on yourself uh, with this. Those low-cost video editors, you don't need to buy big fancy equipment or fancy software. <laughs> and I will trust. And Mike, I just gave you uh, some prodding on the kind of videos that would probably help people if they see you giving practical advice and not, ooh, my <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, the C Breaker Creator Academy is only charging $30 a month. That's a good deal. I don't know uh, anything beyond that. <laughs> it's time for tip number seven. <laughs> and listen up, folks. Yes, not everyone is going to have $30 to spend to get training. Instead, there are some free resources available that and these are the ones I would recommend. Think Media, which is owned by Sean Cannell, and their Think Media podcast offer a whole lot of free teaching and insight into the art of creating videos for YouTube and other video sharing platforms. Yes. It is a Christian organization, but it's not, I repeat, 
not a Christian ministry. Two different things. Their goal is to train you to approach YouTube and others as a business so you can grow a business creating videos for the needs that you feel God is calling. They're not going to be thinking ministry. That's going to be your responsibility. But I highly recommend their free content to give you insights, information. There's vidIQ. They have a great tool, which I do use, and very helpful. But the people running it are not, I'm not sure what they are. Uh, but I would not say, oh, they're Christian. No. <laughs> but they have provided some very helpful uh, quality videos and instruction and guidance as well. You can learn. So you can learn a lot of the basic uh, things. In fact, they're the ones that taught me about video psychology. <laughs> you got Nate Black, who really dives in deep. And, of course, you have Nick Nimmin, who also goes in depth on a lot of his videos on his Saturday morning live stream. So all capable people who can teach you, because they are in the business of teaching you how to create uh, good videos. And they are the ones who taught me some of the principles I just shared in the videos. I would highly recommend that. And uh, nudge, nudge, Mike, that'll help you gain credibility too. That's what you need. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to be nice. I don't want to come out because I, they just started four weeks ago, so it would be highly inappropriate for me to compare to people who've been around for more than a decade. So... That's the reason for that nudge. But if you need free resources, I would go there to the guys I already mentioned. VidIQ, Nate Black. That's the name of his YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, then there's uh, Think Media, Think Media Podcast, and Nick Nimmin. <laughs> Wonderful resources. I wouldn't go to them for ministry advice. That's not the uh, best strengths. <laughs> and I think that would be the uh, the way to go. But unfortunately, um, that's not going to rake in the money uh, that's needed to fund these sort of things. Hmm. That's going to be between you and the Lord and how to best use the different resources. So, yes. That's who I would recommend. And I would also recommend you spend time with the Lord in prayer, spend time reading his word, and letting the Holy Spirit guide and direct you to the right resources. There's a whole bunch of other stuff which is also true, and you'll hear it across the board. All right, this video has gone long enough. I trust this was of value to you, and I would encourage you uh, to check my playlist, which has other great content on this topic. Yes, <laughs> it's a big one. All right, so hope you have a blessed day. See ya when I see ya. <laughs>